Hi children, very good morning. Welcome back to English class. Hope that everybody is fine at home. Okay, all right. Today we are going to learn a new poem. The poem name is Choosing Their Names, written by Thomas Hood. So, my dear students, today's poem is very interesting. We know everything in this world around us has a specific name. Okay. So, either it may be a person or animals or places or things. Okay. Whatever we see around us, it has a special name, unique name. Okay. So, isn't it, students? When we go to shop to buy something, we would tell the name of the chocolate or drinks. Then the shopkeeper gives according to the name of brand. So same way, we also have names, right? So your parents, relatives, friends, or in school, everybody calls you by name. So because we all have names, that's why they call by our name. We respond immediately, isn't it? Yes. So let me ask you some questions. What is the meaning of your name? Ask your parents and find out why did they choose this specific name to you? Every name has a background. And third question, who named you? Okay, who named you? Why do we need names? Just ask your parents these questions and find out the reasons. Okay, when a baby is born, you no, know, our parents, our relatives, our grandparents keep on searching for the good name. Okay, which name will suit to us? Okay, that is our. Uh, you no, know, we we are very busy at the time. You no, know, searching for the name. Yes, I know, students. Very good. Then when we keep the name for the baby and we celebrate a grand a function. So we enjoy, okay, by keeping the name. Today we have kept the name for our baby. So they feel very happy. So same way, my dear students, in the poem, also the writer or the poet wanted to name three little kittens. Okay, you can see here three little kittens. Now which name will suit them? Okay, let's start the poem. So the poem name is Choosing Their Names. It is written by Thomas Hood. It is uh, very important to understand about the author of the poem. Let us understand his biography a little bit. Okay. So Thomas Hood was born in 1799 and died in 1845. He was a British poet, author, humorist, and editor. He was a sort of sub-editor for the London magazine. You know, editor means editing the files, okay? So his works were widely translated into Russian and German. His famous poems include the Song of the Shirt, the Bridge of Sighs, and the Song of the Laborer. Okay, these are the very important works done by Thomas Hood. Now, come back to the warm up exercise. Okay, my dear students, look at this picture of these cats. Okay, there are three kittens. Okay, give them their names. Here you can see tabby cat, black and white cat, tortoise shell, yellow and black cat. And you can find here a dash. Okay, three dashes are there. So you have to find out their names. Okay, after listening to the poem then you will be uh, you will write the uh, name of these three kittens once you understood the poem then you can write the uh, name of these kittens okay so i am going to start the poem already we have seen the introduction of the uh, author so my dear students now i am going to read the poem okay I'll be reading the poem and explaining the poem. Just you follow my explanation and reading. 
so i have not uh, uh, given the poem here but you can go through your textbooks okay when i'm uh, going to read this poem you also open your textbooks and uh, look at the words so you can understand how to pronounce different words okay so i'm beginning the first stanza our old cat has kittens three our old cat has kittens three what do you think their names should be okay so in these lines in the first stanza the poet was talking about the old cat which has three kittens and wanted to find a suitable name for it okay that is the meaning of the lines i am going to read the poem continue one is tabby with emerald eyes and a tail that's long and slender and into a temper she quickly flies if you ever by chance offend her i think we shall call her this i think we shall call her that now don't you think that pepper pot is a nice name for a cat okay so the poet says that the tabby cat has a emerald eyes emerald means green color eyes you can see in the picture it also have a long tail tabby means having dark colored marks on or gray or brown fur okay slender means long and thin tail so it has got dark marks on all over the body the poet was describing about the physical appearance and the nature of the kittens so the cat was quick tempered and quickly flies if at all we offend her offend means make upset if we upset her or touch it, touch her okay if she doesn't like it it gets angry very fast okay and quickly and it quickly flies which means it jumps immediately so i think we shall call her this i think we shall call her that the poet was thinking to give a name so finally the poet gave a name to the kitten that is pepper pot okay pepper pot because why did the poet gave this uh, pepper pot because you know pepper uh, you no know, if it falls in our eyes it is very burning you know pepper is really hot substance okay the poet uh, com uh, compared the cat uh, kitten with the pepper which has a sharp taste of the pepper same way if we trouble the cat the kitten it gets angry so i think this is how the reason the poet gave this name as pepper pot so the poet likes to call this cat as a pepper pot my dear student you can see here pepper okay this is the uh, pepper you can see here these are the pepper seeds okay we have to smash it make it powder we'll be using this pepper powder in uh, curries or chicken fry uh, or uh, when we are eating watermelon okay for different uh, dishes we can use pepper powder okay that's why the poet gave this name as pepper pot now move to the second stanza one is black with a frill of white and her feet are all white fur if you stroke her she carries her tail upright and quickly begins to purr i think we shall call her this i think we shall call her that now don't you think that sooty kin is a nice name for a cat okay so in this second stanza the poet describes the nature of kitten he tells us that the cat is black okay only a little white fur around her feet and neck and the frillness means a strip like a border so you can see the image only you know that the borders you know the tail and the legs okay in the mouth you can see the white fur fur means a thick grown of hair okay a thick grown of hair that uh, covers the skin of animals so if you touch or stroke the cat immediately it lifts her tail you can see image okay the cat raised its tail up upright okay so the tail is upright and uh, quickly it begins to uh, purr purr means a sound meow no it makes some sound when you disturb her okay that's why we should not uh, disturb her if you disturb it will uh, 
lift the tail and do the sound her sound so i think we shall call this or i think we shall call her that so the poet gives a name suti kin suti kin is a nice name for a cat so the poet gives the name suti kin because the cat is gentle it, it has soft nature so he compares the kitten with uh, suti kin because you can see the picture here uh, suit okay s o o t suit means it is a substance okay a black color powder used for uh, no in chemicals so same as the kitten is also a black cat you see here the cat also is uh, looks like a black okay so that's why the poet uh, likes to call her suti kin move to the third stanza one is tortoise shell yellow and black with plenty of white about him if you tease him at once he sets up his back he is quarrelsome one never doubt him i think we shall call him this i think we shall call him that now don't you think that scratch away is a nice name for a cat okay so my students in this poem the poet describes about the thought kitten tortoise shell means the hard shell of a turtle that is yellow and white orange and brown so the cat is the cat the kitten is of you no know, this color so you can see the image of cat how it looks you no know? it is not is it not angry face students it is staring at us yes so if at all we tease her we make fun of it no definitely it will get angry no it sets up his back no you can see how it uh, no sitting the posture okay so it it means it stands erect and gets angry so so he is a quarrelsome one so the, cat, the kitten is a quarrel someone quarrel means getting angry okay tempered never doubt him never doubt his nature so the poet calls this kitten as a scratch away because the cat gets angry if someone teases him okay we make fun of uh, this kitten it will jump over us and it will try to attack us so that is why no that is why the kitten uh, has the no the kitten is very much angry that's why it scratches scratches what happen you get some wounds on your body that's why the poet has given this name as scratch away scratch away okay so my dear students now you understood why was the poet given the you know given the three kittens different names okay pepper pot sooty kin and scratch away based on their characteristics appearances and nature okay now you understood the name of three kittens okay i hope i am clear to you hope this video enlightened you about okay the poem choosing their names written by thomas hood thank you very much